GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series on my generic brand galaxy scenario. You can uh, subscribe to it from my workshop link down below if you wish. Uh, the one side effect to it is whatever planet size that you start with is what you're stuck with for everything and I'm going to show you uh, probably next episode how to change that if you haven't all if you don't already know how it's quite simple you just go into the template folder and go into the play field folder for each play field that you want to change the size on uh, obviously you can't do it for orbital I would just suggest uh, changing the moons to, you know, maybe maybe lower them down to a three. You could change like all the planets down to a three if you wanted. Doesn't really matter, but uh, uh, you just it, you just can't go to that play field first. You have to like not ever go to that play field until you do change the size of it. If you if you don't, then you're stuck with whatever size you you uh, you spawn the play field with. Uh, originally which would be either size 3 or size 4 depending on which planet you started on so um, easy enough and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little blurb on that at the, probably the beginning of the next episode this episode we gotta fix the freaking whole mole it got beat up it's not a combat vessel I keep stressing that it's just it's got a little bit of armor in the front so it so you don't get killed, so you don't get one shot. But the windows, the Xerax are actually doing some decent damage now on the ground. And they can, they were taking out my, uh, my armored windows were getting popped. So, and my light got popped a couple times. <laughs> I made one on the way. I had to make regular windows because I didn't have any Sathium on me. So, we got to upgrade those. We're going to put in another window. Plus... What I want to do is, let's see what we're connected to. Raw food. Yeah, we let's let's connect to the mats. So that uh, how much space do we got? We got. Oh yeah, we got we got space. Because what I want to do is, I happen to have hit level twenty. Uh, I unlocked the drills, the laser drills, and I should have enough because we went and looted the, where is it here? Um, so we looted the wreckage and we also went and it's gone now, but the, um, the patrol vessel, we went and multi-tooled that down too. And we brought all the blocks, it, blocks back. It actually took me three trips because I filled this thing up twice and then on the way back we mined a bunch and stuff. So, but, um, yeah, so now we've got a ton. Check this out. So we've got lots of, uh, I'm cranking up the, um, the fusion cells now. So I'm cranking fusion cells out. And we've got, what else? So that's just our mats. Where's our, how much fuel do we got going? There we go. We've got a couple hundred fusion cells we've already made. So that's awesome. Uh, we've just got tons of ingots now. Oh, we've, we, we should probably turn on... Oh, we can move that stuff over too. So let's go like this. We're going to go like this. And yeah, mats. We want that on mats. We're going to move this stuff over. And I don't think we need any more silicone or any of the basics. No. Okay. Um, yeah, excellent. Excellent. We've got a good amount now. We've got a whole bunch of zascosium. We've got a couple of power coils, so that should, we should be able to do all six. We should be able to upgrade all six. So I think I want to pop all six off and throw those in the mats container. So let's do that. Let's go into here. We're going to grab number five and we're going to retrieve the blocks off each of these. trying to be really careful so I don't pop the seal on the base. 
to think about a T2 uh, multi-tool is it only takes one zap to take a concrete block up. So I should actually probably reinforce the whole bottom of this at least just to make it so it's two zaps. So if I hit it by accident and it doesn't pick it up, it's probably a good idea because this is kind of my my HV workshop. I'm not going to get a big HV in here. It's just my just my mining rig. That's all. Just for the just for the mole hole and cargo and water. I mean, that's what this hallway is meant for. We're gonna make a hangar. Uh, I found out that the hangar that we have upstairs is not gonna be big enough to make an SV in. So. <sighs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to modify that and make that bigger. Okay, so we don't, that's not, let's do this one here. Okay, so we want, that should all be in there. There they are, six of them. We should be able to, we can just put them back in there, I guess. We're, we're, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, we'll just put them back in. Uh, okay, so that'll be on the weapons and items. And then we go like this, and that should be them right there. HV, so let's make six of those. And we'll turn that on. Sweet. We got freaking lasers! Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we didn't have them anywhere else. Let's just take a quick look here. Uh, SVHV stuff. Do I have an SVHV? I do. Yeah, I've got Gatling guns. Yeah, I never looted any. I would have kept those. I don't. Uh, I don't nuke those down if I don't have a fully decked out HV with them. Okay, so those should be ready any second here. Where are we at those? We got one, really? One. <laughs> oh, come on. Two, two. Oops, we have, come on, can we get three? Okay, fine, we'll put these two in. We'll get these in the bottom. I'm gonna have to use my drone so that I can get down low enough to look all the way to the back. And switch back to there. And is that all the way back? That looks like it there. Yep. And there. Yep. Okay, excellent. And we've got two more ready to go. Perfect. Put those in. Right like that. And the other side. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. We're gonna have frickin' lasers. Oh, I've been waiting to upgrade these. This is gonna make it just, this thing will just, be such a an awesome little mining rig oh my god with these lasers okay uh, sorry I'm getting all excited and just oh, whoo <laughs> yes okay 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 <laughs> oh it gives me chills okay and then we can we can actually do we have um have that stuff on us? Yes, we do. Okay, so six and seven. Color tool. Let's do the texture and symbol. We should be able to texture this stuff like that. Yep. That's cool that they take texture now. You can kind of try and match it up, but it, we can't change how that is. I think we might be able to turn it or flip it or something. Like we can spin this. We can't, you know what I'm saying? I could spin it and try and match that up somehow. I think we could do that. We could try. Should I try? 
I don't know if I really care that much. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, now I'm curious. Change and rotate. We go like... No, we can't. No, it just... We can't change the way we want it. No. We can't. We can't pivot it. We can't make it pivot. Okay. So that's just it. That's the way... They go. They either they. It's just facing a direction. You can't spin them though. You can't like twist them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, so let's keep texturing then. And we've got that and that one. That one's done. So we'll do that one and that. There we go. That should be all of them. And then we'll paint them. Get the black on. Do full, full block. Medium, or well, I guess medium doesn't matter. It's not going to hit the other one anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't want it. I wanted to be full black, not just like a mismatch color somewhere. There we go. Oh, we gotta put the light in. Did we not make a light? I don't think we even made one. Let's. let's I don't think we did. No, we we've got a bunch. You know what? Let's grab. Oops. No, we just need one. We just need one. If we need more for the SV when we build it, we'll make more. But right now, the whole mole needs it more. Okay, and then we'll paint that. So that was six. Okay. There we go. I think... Oh, and... Oh, we got to upgrade. Yeah, okay. So we need the... the hardened steel so we'll need some of these right we'll need what oh I ha I'm connect can I do it if I'm connect just connected to mats but I need glass too right I need glass plates so let's so let's uh, can we just like this which one no, that's the fuel one I don't want to do that one let's do this one so we can do glass plates into here. Okay, so now with with it being on my toolbar, with it being part of my connected to, can I just like zap it now? Do I have to actually have this stuff on me? steel plate too bad uh well that sucks okay <sighs> that's fine like this mats I mean what if I went like that no <laughs> see because it's I don't know whatever so I guess that means even if I put it down on this bar, it won't work too. Okay. I don't need much. Here, we'll grab this one. And how much do they weigh? Oh, it's not too bad. 20 should be fine. Well, 10. There we go. Okay. There we go. A little tougher, but they're still getting one shot, so that wasn't good. Uh, okay, I think that's it. I think that's it for that. Let's see if it needs a repair job. I think I already went over it. Repaired it. not oh 
Oh, okay. Okay. I think we got it all. It looked like it was just that turret up at the top had some damage. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, I saw something there. There, there we go. One of the blocks. Where's that? Right there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, so what we need to do is... Here, let's just get rid of that. We don't need that now. I just wanted to do that because that's so cool to upgrade an HV drills and it just turns it into an uber drill machine um, I don't think we'll go out right now and do that what I want to do is I'll probably I'll get started on I don't even know if I want to get started on it on camera I think what I want to do is I I'm just gonna expand this into uh, let's see what we got. I I, uh, I wish I had more um, Zascosium in a restroom, to tell you the truth, because I, I wouldn't mind some more um, um, force field panels. I'd like actually four of them right now would be pretty awesome. I just... I just don't... Um, I don't think I have any because I used them all, didn't I? I threw them all in the. Uh, it's too bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, we also got to put that T2 repair bay. I mean, I guess I could put that into the. Same with the laser turret. Hmm. I could deconstruct those. I don't know if I want to deconstruct those. I could deconstruct the large thrusters. They would give us quite a bit. That's what I used to top up enough to make the the uh, HV lasers. So, but I wanted to keep two for the back thrusters of the CV that we're going to make. So, eh. I think let's let's see what we got here. Got quite a bit left. 70. What does it require? What does it require? Let's see. Because what, what I want to do is I want to do a force field opening that's really freaking big. Basically as, as wide as you can uh, without it collapsing on your head. I'm not sure how wide that is, so we're going to have to try and figure that out. Uh, This one, no, that one's safe. Okay. Okay. So let's see if how many we can make. Let's see how many we can make. Are they here? Yeah. Course fields. One capacitor device, one energy matrix, and only one power coil. Okay. Capacitor device, energy matrix. Energy matrix, I could spit tons of those out capacitor device okay let's see what an entire uh, oscillator nanotubes here care so the oscillator is 5 neo 2 sath per device 5 neo 2 sath um, oops and Power coil. Flex coil eight and eight. So it's ten, four, eight, and eight. Ten Neo, four Sath, eight Arrestrium, eight Zascosium per force field. Okay. So eight and eight, ten Neo. 
Okay, so I can make like 12 of those. I eight and eight, so I don't have enough to make that many. I can make eight. I can make eight. Huh, so I can make four quite easily. Well, I think I want to do that because I'd really like to have something that's, you know, like 20, 20 or maybe 30 blocks high and or 20 blocks high or something and, and you know, freaking 20 blocks wide or something or maybe even wider if we can get away with it. I'm not sure if we can, though. That might be difficult. But... Yeah. Okay. So let's make four. Four. And you know what? We, we should put this into blocks. Where the hell is the CV block? CV blocks? Yeah. We can grab that one out later. That's fine. And then we also are going to need way more concrete, right? Right? Got some armored concrete. We can use that to spread out on the ground portion of the shop part, right? Uh, so we should probably make more armored concrete too, I guess, or we can just huck at it later. Let's just make a whole ton of concrete. Oh, and here I am dying. So that's always fun. That's always fun. Um, what do we got for food? Yeah, I know I'm hungry. It's okay. We'll just... <sighs> Eat a couple burgers. We live. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, I wanted to make a whole bunch of cement. So we're gonna need just, just, just a ridiculous amount. It's ridiculous insane amounts and you know what we're gonna change this to just the stone there we go <laughs> suck up our stone instead okay uh, so in the meantime I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the oxygen off here. I'll jump in there and this will be my little workstation. And I'll strip this down and then I got to I guess we can keep two walls going. We'll keep this corner up. And we'll got to expand. So we got to knock the roof down, knock the other two walls down. Because I'm going to be expanding out. Oh, maybe it'll be. You know what? It might be. It's going to be this wall for sure that stays. And it might be this one and that one that gets knocked out, actually, because the. I don't want to dig at all, so we're going to be like. Um, it's like really cold out here, but. We're okay right here. One degrees, <laughs> one degrees warmer in the doorway. Okay. Um, so yeah, see how the land slopes down a little bit that way. I don't. That's the direction I want to build. I don't want to go up and have to build into the start digging. I don't mind making stilts. It just I'm not really into the digging. So so let's do that. We're gonna shut this place down. So. First of all, let's jump in here and we're going to turn this on. That way we're all, we're all nice and cozy inside and we're going to turn this off. So let's deoxygenize. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of, uh, oh, let's make sure that we're connected to the correct, what we want. So 
what do we want to be connected to? We want to be connected to the blocks, right? The CV base blocks. Yeah, I'm not connected to that right now, so let's do that. Okay. So, it's made three, three force fields. Okay, well, that's cool. It's getting there. Um, did I only make three? Do I only have three? That sucks. Could it only make three? I thought it could make way more than that. Did I only hit three? Okay, let's close that. That one's still making fuel. Okay, that's fine. So I guess I only made three. Is that I don't know why I only made three. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Oh, I ran out. Oh, right, because I switched. I'm a derp. Hmm. I bet you it used the mats, too. That was stupid. But I thought it was already building concrete. Okay, we'll have to look at that later. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to continue to uh, uh, throw stuff, knock this place down. So let's just start doing that. So we're also going to be taking these. Yeah. Okay, so you basically get the gist of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be making it much, much bigger and taller and using force fields for the entrance. Once we get to the point of trying to figure out how big the entrance is, I'll, uh, I'll come grab you guys. So I know you guys wanted to see me build an SV this video, but we don't have the proper place to do that, I realized. When I was in here, I'm like, holy crap, this is just way too tiny we have to do more base work so sorry guys it's i know i know the sv the cargo sv is coming it's coming don't worry but i gotta deal with logistics first and unfortunately we just don't have the space to build it so we're gonna we're gonna make a space we're gonna make as best a space that we can do in gravity I think in a in atmosphere uh, yeah I think this is for sure coming down this wall because we're gonna be extending out that way for sure just do this like that oh you know what let's let's pop these off first so that I don't have any structural integrity issues okay so now which wall do I knock down do I continue off this side I'm definitely going out the front and do I continue up a bit that will get I will end up having to dig that out but it might be plenty wide enough for us by that time so keep those keep those two walls and then we will be digging up a little bit, but not much, not much. I think, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be, because you can see how high the floor is anyway, right? So I think we'll be able to extend it quite a bit. Okay, so let's do this wall. Because we're going to go out that way and we'll scoop these up because they're the wrong angle.
I said I was going to do this off camera. Uh, it's going so fast that <laughs> we're going to be at the building construction stage any second. So, you know what? I'll just keep you guys around. I know it's kind of boring, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's part of the game. It's it's a. I love the fact that you don't have to destroy your materials to reconstruct your your bases and vehicles. It's it's really cool. I really like it. Okay, and one last row. Nice. Okay, so now we got to lay down. Let's um, let's switch to here. We're gonna. We've got what 600 right now. Okay, we're not even close to our max. So this is one of the maxed out cargo container uh, controllers. So there's unless we get a whole bunch more of the combat steel blocks and like fill this up with like full stacks of blocks then I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. Okay. So, we're going to be coming out this direction. Um, I'm going up. Let's do the wall then. So, we're going to be going like this, right? So, we're going to be going at least like that. Right? Right? Maybe even further. I mean, obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the roof to go that wide. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna how wide of of a span we can do before it collapses. I guess we're going to figure that out, right? So, I haven't done this in a long time, figuring out the span. I used to remember what it was. I think concrete was like 10 or something, and then on the 11th one it would break. So you could get like 20 or something, you know, and it would be like really red in the metal when it came to the structural integrity uh, tool. Yeah. We don't need that tool out yet because we're not building up yet. So, got a lot of, so yeah, it's gonna, so I don't wanna go any further that direction because I don't wanna dig. I don't wanna dig, so we're gonna start the wall, the other wall here. Go like that. Okay, so can we dig this out? Let's see. Okay, so that's right under it already. Excellent, okay. We didn't really need to dig it out then. Doesn't matter, I don't care, it's just a, oops. Didn't want to do that. It's fine. Yeah, now it's kind of bumpy. Oh well, that's that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. It's hard to see snow. Okay, so let's continue. I guess we'll do the wall, right? We'll do the wall. Let's do the wall. That way crap will have, have to get around the wall to get to us while we're building at least right now. Get this wall up. Yeah, these concrete blocks are going real fast. When you start building on mass, the, you'll notice your blocks just disappear super fast. It's like, oh man, where did those four stacks of blocks go? Well, there's a, a golem over there. Well, 
I don't think he's going to do anything about us right now. Not that he really can. Okay. So, where can we get? Can we get that right in there? Yeah. Let's do that. Can we pull that out of the way. Nice. Okay. Like I say, I'm not sure what the span is that we're going to be able to create. Um, and obviously that's going to dictate how, how big of a force field opening we're going to have. Okay, we're getting low on blocks now. Getting low on blocks. Okay. Let's see if we've got some more cooked up. Yep. And I can I can do the armor too, I guess. I just um Yeah, I mean why not? <laughs> okay. Getting concrete in. Yeah, this will be a much bigger surface area. Now the reason I'm going to do the uh, the non-secure force field is because I actually am going to have this compound walled in eventually here. So these walls um, I'll I'll figure it out. Oh, it, it's going to be it will be secure somehow. I'll I'll just have to figure it out. Maybe in a in an obscure way it'll be secure. <laughs> I don't know. Security through obscurity. <laughs> okay. That's actually kind of a IT joke, really. Okay, so I think it's going to start, yeah, we're going to have to start putting, um, putting supports underneath at that point. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we're going to dig this up a bit. up a bit. Come on. There we go. Okay, so... Well, this garage is definitely much, much bigger than it used to be, <laughs> as you can see. Okay. Uh, but it's got to get much, much bigger. So I need to cook up more concrete, like a lot more concrete. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'll get both constructors going on that, I think. And 
when it's enough concrete, I'll come back and grab you guys and we'll finish this off. So um, I will come grab you when we're ready. Ciao. Okay, so we're back. You can see that I've done a little bit more. Uh, we still need lots of concrete. We've got a bunch more made. And it's still pumping out tons of concrete. So I want to lay down um, as much of the foundation here as I can. So let's just get these blocks in. This is the easy part. Oh, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> okay. Get this pulled out here. Nice. So not quite sure I think we should test the length capabilities of the regular concrete and how far it can go before it breaks so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that pretty quick here um, but I just want to get this in Okay. Uh, is that going to actually cover? Are we going to have enough here? Let's see. Yeah, we should. Okay, good. Okay, so let's try... I guess we should count how many squares there are. Here, we don't need to be flying anymore. Let's, oh, we don't need to be flying. Let's, let's land. It's much cheaper on fuel. Okay. Um, I should really be doing this during the day. You know what? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Here, let's um, let's just shut this down. We'll jump out. I know it's super cold out, but that's okay. It's just for a quick second. We're not gonna die. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We should actually pick our garden too, but that's okay. We'll. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pick the garden because for reasons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the raw food and that will be what's on our toolbar. So let's just pick all the stuff. It'll go into the fridge automatically. That's kind of cool about the logistics system. It makes it much easier to manage your inventory, I found. Uh, some people don't like it, but I, I find it to be um, functional and definitely better than what it was. I mean, I like the, the fact that you can have multiple construction chains going. So one thing's feeding into another one, which it needs to build something to feed into another one, yada, yada, yada. And uh, it's cool that way, you know? Cool. That's all I have to say. And we'll pick our fill here. And that fridge is going to fill up. But that was our first real spice dump. So we should be able to actually make some, what do we got? We've got a bunch of spice now. Yeah, wow, that's almost full. Okay, so let's, um, you know what? Let's start making emergency rations. And then what's left over, we'll make uh, meat burgers with. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. And it'll use up the energy bars that we got too, and meat. Uh, so 
it's not going to use up a lot of the vegetables until it starts digging into the other. It will start eating up the vegetables. I mean, the emergency rations are going to take a lot to make. Six energy bars. And then the three salami. So what does a salami take? One meat, which make which requires one plant protein, one vegetable, one ve so two vegetable per meat. There's three of those, so that's six vegetable. Uh, six vegetable just for the meat and three spice and then the protein bars two plant protein oh that's an oak kind of two okay so oh, okay so it's not quite as expensive but that is that's one so that's another six so that's three that's four and six is ten. Ten per? Okay. So once it starts having to make these things, it's going to really start grinding into the into the uh, into this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. We need to start using up stuff. Our fridge was getting full. And that's awesome that we can start making emergency rations now. That's that's excellent. That is so cool. And we can celebrate by going into here and eating a hamburger. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we need to finish building, but I'm thinking we need more fuel and oxygen. So I want to put more in here. I just want to see what we got in here. So that's two, four above, four below, and then a couple, a couple right here. So eight, ten squares worth. Okay. So we can do five and five, I guess. That's not bad. I don't know if I need to do that many fuel. Okay. Um, that doesn't sound right. That sounds bizarre. One, one, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Just five in total. So I could do like uh, three oxygen and two fuel or maybe you know what two oxygen three fuel i'm not sure how much oxygen i'm going to need for that big hangar i'm building right okay so oops i was gonna sleep that was the whole point of come coming down here sleep we wanted to get that stuff cooking then we sleep oh you know what we might as well uh queue up hamburgers after that then right We need that many hamburgers. Oh, we've got meds made. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Well, I'm gonna sleep. In the meantime, this place is cranking out stuff. So it's got burgers and food on the go. It's got. Um, how are we doing on all our stuff here? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Um, but I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit leery because if we run out, everything dies because I don't have the solar panels up, right? Um, hmm. We don't have any fuel tanks. Do well, we've got? Got one and another O2. Got one fuel. Okay, let's take this. Well, they're not that heavy anymore, are they? Nice. Okay, good. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? That'll be fine for now. We'll, we'll put those in and then now let's change to this. Okay. So I'm thinking if we flip this this way, have that up there, and then the oxygen down below, kind of like a shield against the fuel. Okay. So now we should be able to go into the deposit and do I have it not connected? Okay, so that's that's fine. Made a ton of the uh, fusion cells now. That's excellent. And then we'll go into fuel and then we'll dump what we can. So now we've got more fuel available to use. That's good. And how's our oxygen? Uh, where, where's our O2? O2. Okay. And let's make sure that everything's cranking. Let's make sure everything's cranking. We've got our constructors putting out concrete. Yep. Yep. Hmm. It's not going to fit much, though, is it? Uh, I don't know if it'll fill all that up. I doubt it. If it does, whatever. I don't think it will. But we're going to go to sleep anyway. Okay. Well, guys, I am going to go to sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. It's going to be a new episode in the morning. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome Awesome day.